What can I say that everyone stated about Arthur? Maybe nothing much, as its mainstay was impactful on the day-to-day -day lives of our favorite animalistic humanoids and its impact on grown fans after 25 years of relevancy and then some. As for now, one of my favorites from back then and seen through as a creative will always be the movie-making stuff. As for this, let's begin. A monologue on a trailer of an unreleased action film with Artie highlighting the key features on screen as revealed as the hero who we're also watching. A James Bond XP known as... Hound. James Hound. Hound, huh? Well, considering that this episode released during the 90s era James Bond revival with Pierce Brosnan in the iconic N64 game that proves its longevity. Anyway, as easily thrilled Arthur is, unfortunately, he has to deal with the dreaded PG-13 rating. For further context, it begins with the reads attending a movie and Arthur starting. Makes a movie! <laughs> anyway, after reveling with the unwatchable mediocrity of the feature film, Arthur and pals are supplementing themselves with ice cream and, while being recollected with the movie... Arthur's family watch and then the convo shifted to the upcoming James Hound movie and immediately piqued the interest of the group until realization kicked in that neither of them are of the appropriate age to see the movie until a certain someone strolled by. Hello little ants, smile for the camera. Uh, hi Muffy. Muffy is seen handling her new video camera while testing its features and, and capturing her friend's expressions and Buster's unusual eating choices. And then an idea stemmed from Arthur with one of his imaginative fantasies, which plays much differently in his head, but not so much in execution. But anyway, Arthur imagined himself as a man of action with him eluding foes with his high-tech bicycle and deeming himself James Hound. The gang gets together in action with them just winging it with no script and no and not so proper supplies. But it's the thought that counts. Shooting time as stated as Arthur's smokescreen attempt backfired with himself all coated with powder and fumbled. And then Buster arrived at the idea of himself fantasizing as a crab based villain and then manipulating the world's fish to attack the land dwellers via ray. Through Buster, who probably didn't count of the fishes not surviving on land without water, with Arthur's hound infiltrating the base via moonfall and tangling off the villain's traps, ending Buster's sequence, and, and then going off with one of the brain's ideas of filming a practical homemade supersonic jet and another mishap with Pal snagging it and shredding it, much to Buster's dismay. Uh, here's an idea, fellas. How about you put Pal indoors? Quite a concept if you think about it. Brain has another idea of a scene of himself with Arthur Sound and putting a sequence to stop a missile striking the earth. Funny thing about that scene, it was heavily altered after 9-11 to cut the part of the missile halting before the White House with a rather odd ADR dub implementing that the disaster was averted. We did it! As imaginative as it was, could it be executed well? Well, we're about to see he putting on the idea in motion, but with Brain going a little over his head and, and with very, very broad acting and accidentally disabling the power. I guess it was a two. A few mishaps then and there with another scene. A rescue scene as suggested by Francine as they were assembled in Muffy's outdoor pool with Bustersville monologuing with a following threat of an inflatable shark and Arthur coming to the rescue in the staunchiest way possible. Hound is here. As the action is set and after a few cheesy moments, time to reap the fruits of their labor with a showcase premiere at Arthur's with a few friends and the results are well that i told you i needed a black bow tie that's supposed to be a motorcycle but the brain didn't put special things on it like i told him to if you... why couldn't you make me a claw so i'd look like a real villain why didn't you make your own claw i can't do well everything. that's for sure i don't and then alleviation aside 
From the fact that they had fun amidst the bloopers, it was worth it to the end. And that's something to go by when creating a project with very little resources. That can tell on budding creators such as we, as the effort was worth the work deed. Anyway.